Hello everybody, so Calthero here, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Dodge Ram, the uh, Power Stroke here, or I'm sorry, the Ram Power Stroke. I keep saying, call, wanting to call it a Dodge, but I know they changed. Uh, we're going to get right into it here. The engine is already done on this car, so we're going to go ahead and raise the car up and continue working on the suspension to get it done as well. So let's go ahead and get this knocked out. I probably will be moving a little fast in this episode, and I'll try to keep myself from going too fast, but just to uh, give you a little reasoning as to why, I just got done recording the episode of the 300C, the uh, new DLC that came out for this game. Well, semi-new. I think it's been out for a while, but it's new to me. I just finally got it. Um, and I went through and I did an entire video just to help out with anybody that might have problems with uh, assembly and disassembly of it. So kind of making it a walkthrough to help others. And usually those take a lot longer to record. And I, I typically have to look for a lot more parts because I'm not too familiar with them. Oh, okay, so 355s are probably in the back. There we go. Whoops. Oh, that's not going to be a star pattern. Um, so that might be the reason why that I might be moving a little fast, but I will try to slow it down and take my time with this one. I know I just power through that wheel and tire without doing the star pattern, but I'll, uh, I'll try to make it up on the other ones here. There we go. And we just gotta get these brakes on. And the front end of this thing is gonna be done. I gotta be careful these are all my Jeep wheels right here so I already have the Jeep wheels already assembled and whatnot I just need to uh, I just need to record the episode and finish it up as well but I really wanted to do this uh, Ram power stroke just because this thing looked pretty mean and pretty cool looking I'm trying to make my way back here oh I didn't mention it either in the 300c video the f-150 was taking this slot and I brought another vehicle down now and it's a uh, Toyota GT86 it's their um it's the equivalent well it's actually the original the Scion is the equivalent to it that's made in the uh, US here so I found a DLC for one of those and that'd be pretty cool to restore one of those as well Oh, I'm out of small rubber bushings. That was coming sooner or later. Okay, so small rubber bushings. Might as well buy a few of those. Because, again, it's something we always use and we use a lot of. You never get to, uh... Never get to fix those because they're just bushings. There we go. And the shock absorber here as well. It won't take much for this truck, as far as uh, parts are concerned. The uh, engine-wise, I should go over that as well. I didn't do anything performance-wise to it. I just kept it uh, stock, I want to say, other than with a minor exception like the... Uh, you can see it from here, the fuel filter is the upgraded one, and the air filter as well. Oops. The rim is like right in my face. I could use either one now. I only have the one size. Oops. That's not my star pattern. Okay, we we fixed it. We recovered. Oh, we'll put the performance fuel pump in too, because why not? It's a power stroke. I do plan on doing a bunch of... Uh, oh, I'm missing that. Okay, didn't know I'd be missing that. Your axle knuckle C. I do plan on doing a bunch of performance parts in the uh, Enzo Ferrari because I want to see how fast I can get that thing going. And of course I'll put racing slicks on it so we're not just sliding into the wall constantly <laughs> when I uh, do that episode. 
took forever to find one of those things too. I had to go to the auction multiple times and just get lucky and find one there. Same with that uh, GT86 too. That actually was at the auction and that's how I had to get that one. That's why it, it looks as nice as it does. The body's in perfect shape and I think the interior is too. It's just the uh, mechanics of the car are a little worn out is all. But I may take it apart and sell those body panels and do something else with it instead. I saw there's a few like mods for like a Rocket Bunny version and something else as well. Uh, I thought it looked kind of cool. But the ram here. We're finishing up the suspension right now. So I'm pretty sure everything is done on it. Ooh, that looks good. I do like that wheel and tire size package there. That looks cool. Looks like it fills the truck up really well as far as the uh, spacing goes. I don't remember if I put oil in this thing. Let me see. Yep, I did. Okay. Let's double check it just to make sure. Yep, we're just on uh, body panels now. I don't remember. Is this car? Yeah, it is a mod, so I don't know if it has any performance body paneling. We're going to take a look right now and see gonna take a minute though just because I have so many cars ram I'll probably get the uh, SRT ram in here too yeah 2006 okay here it is power wagon so there's a few different headlights there's a different bumper that's pretty cool or there's this one that I'm assuming is a tonneau cover from the looks of it and it has a few different front bumpers and winch oh it's okay it's got a few different things all right we'll kind of we'll play it by ear here let's see we're gonna put the doors on those will probably be yeah those will be just regular i have no glass so i have to keep that in mind put this on that on. Okay, so we have all that. Let's take a look here and oh, did I see an engine cover too? Oh yeah. Oh that's neat. Alright, so we already got an engine cover, so it looks more the part. Alright, let's look at let's see the front bumper first or well actually the windshield. As I see, I got a few different options here. I think, I think we'll go with this one. We'll get that off-road package. We're gonna do the same for the uh, front bumper. I need the glass. The hood is standard, so we're not gonna do anything with that. Uh, the headlights, I'll, I'll do a, a red headlight looking thing there. That looks pretty cool. Uh, the rear bumper, since we got an off-road package, you got to do it with that too. Got to have the matching. Need this glass, need this glass, need this glass. We'll do this. I don't know if I need the trunk if I have that bumper though, so we'll see right now. Oh, I didn't want that one. I didn't realize I was able to fix them and still had them. I'll go with the parts I want. Or that I just bought, rather. Not the parts I fixed for it. There we go. Front bumper package. Oh man, that thing looks mean. <laughs> Alright, let's close the hood so we can get the full effect here. Front windows. Yep. Get the driver windows here too. And now the passenger side windows. There we go. And we'll get the rear window as well. Alright, let's see. Oh. I probably had the tail lights. Yeah, they didn't change, so put those in. See how this rear bumper works. So if you do that, you're still required to do a trunk. So I don't think I could do the rear bumper. I think you have to have an actual version that doesn't require it. I'm going to normal mode. Oh, I can't move. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I 
Oh, my game's completely dead. <laughs> Alright, so my game has died. This is a first for car mechanics, Sam. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back from the game crash, so I had to go through. Unfortunately, I lost everything that I had as far as uh, progress goes on the truck. So I cut that out for you guys so you guys didn't have to watch it. Um, mechanically wise, everything stayed the same. Oh. Let me get rid of that real quick. That's not what I wanted. Uh, mechanically, everything stayed the same. However, on the... Uh, Exterior I had to get rid of all the off-road parts because that was the thing that was causing the issue I think that was part of it because I think you need to actually buy a version of the truck that supports those as well as um, I think I was going a little too fast if you notice I was clicking a little bit slower this time on the uh, on the installs of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the interior now that now that the uh, exterior is all done and the uh, undercarriage and the engines all put together again too. I thought when I was doing the Chrysler, I saw something for a power wagon in here. I thought I saw like 3,500. Yeah, there's one. And it wouldn't match though. That's the only thing. I think it's for a regular Dodge Ram, not a power wagon, so I think we're going to just pick some of our own instead and go with that. So I think we'll probably go, hmm, so hard to choose, oh that's the SRT10, okay that's an SRT10, that's the Viper, let me look at the interior real quick, it's not wood grain trim, right? Actually, let's move this car or this truck rather over to the uh, paint shop and then I'll take a look at it there because I can't really look at it from here. Uh, we'll probably do the Enzo next, so it's, well, not next episode, but before we do that one. Alright, let's take a look here and see. Uh, open up the door. I don't see any wood grain in here, so I don't want to do that wood grain. I guess we'll go with this steering wheel. And we need some tall seats in here, because it's a truck. The Hellcat seats actually look pretty good. We'll put those in. We'll put some Hellcat seats in from a Challenger. See how they sit. Yeah, they sit a little low, but not too bad. Oops. Still got all the Chrysler parts too left over that I had extra. Yeah, those seats sit way too low <laughs> compared to the backs. Well, it'll have to do. So, we got the truck in here. I am not driving a purple truck. Uh, let's see if we got any liveries for this thing. Not a livery. Okay, well. With the song famously known by Montel Jordan, you can get yours in a 6.4, but I, I gotta get mine in a big black truck. So we're doing that, and we're gonna do, a, gonna do chrome on chrome. We're just gonna be ridiculous. Black chrome paint, black chrome wheels. I wish I could do the emblems in black chrome. That'd be pretty cool. Or just like a matte black. Uh, it's got a few performance parts on it, so we will be dynoing this thing. Well, let's go ahead and check that out. Go ahead and run the dyno test on it, see how it does. Uh, factory power wise, this motor makes 444 horses. Let's go ahead and see what it does now. It's not too bad with the small amount of parts that we put on this thing. Let's go ahead and move it out to the uh, garage area here so we can take a look at it. Close that up. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get in it here and start it up. Yeah, it doesn't look like working gauges. Man, this thing sounds... Sounds like it's got a rough idle. Let me hear... Yeah, there's something missing on the body. Oh, I forgot the license plate. Oh, that just must be how it rumbles in. Alright, let's go to California. We just need one. Let's put Ram PS. Hmm. Why can't I put the license plate on? That's strange. Is it on the front only? Ah, very strange. Okay, well... That's that's really weird. I guess there must be an issue with that. Well, either way, I forgot even to do this. The car value now is two hundred and sixteen thousand thirty-nine, and the re the restoration bonus is sixteen thousand two hundred two. The only thing dinging me is this rear license plate that I can't find. So we're gonna go ahead and take it over to the speed trap, or not trap. That's a police term. <laughs> it's a LSPDFR talk coming into here, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna take it to the speed track and we're gonna see how it does on the track So it does have some more horses under it, but not too much that we can't handle as well as the uh, Performance I did put some performance off-road tires on it, so it should handle pretty good still So we're gonna check it out and see how it does Started to get away a little bit there. So top speed of 273 kilometers that's not bad considering that this is a big ass track <laughs> but I was having a hard time you may have noticed I was looking at the outside of it a lot longer than I normally do on those runs I was having a hard time not looking at that wheel and tire package on it I am definitely digging the way it looks although the one little small thing that I kind of dislike is very small and I only did it because that's how it came with the truck was the back tires are a I mean they're wider obviously but they're a lot wider like you can definitely tell I don't know maybe it's just me you guys can let me know in the comments below you think maybe the tire size should have been matched all the way around instead but uh, anyways guys that's gonna do it for this episode of car mechanic simulator let me know down in the comments below what you thought and until next time take care Oh